yet a share cat big dinner spot peltier yet share not quite the next clint do turtle mountain do over lakota shma a ambigay shaja a leonard peltier um good evening everybody my name is kathy peltier as rachel said i am the youngest daughter of leonard peltier the shootout happened on june 20 25th 1975 Um, I wasn't even born when the whole shootout took place. I was, um, my mom was uh, in another state with me when um, I wasn't born and the shootout took place. I was born November 2nd, 1975. The first time my dad ever got to see me was when he was on trial. And that was in 1977. He only get to he only got to see a glimpse of me as as a two year old. I've been speaking about my dad since I could speak, and every time it gets easier to talk about it because we know in our heart that our dad is free. I mean, he's innocent, and. Um, in that sense, it's easier to talk about him. But to see my dad in prison for four, over four decades, missing his children grow up. My brother Chauncey was 10 years old when the shootout happened. He missed out on having our dad teach him what fathers would normally teach their children. Me, on the other hand, I never got to meet, I never got to know my dad as my brother did. The last time I saw my dad was two years ago. And before that was 20 years ago. And the only reason why is because they kept on moving him from prison to prison. And every time I would fill out the forms to go see him, they would move him. And it was from Coleman, Florida, to Pennsylvania. And it was very emotional when I saw my dad after 20 years. Because of, I remember the bad memories <clears throat> I had seen him in prison when I was a kid. We had to act straight. We had to behave. We couldn't act out like a lot of these little kids did. If we did, we were removed. So we had to be on our straight behavior. So sometimes we didn't get to see our dad. And then we had to share time with his lawyers and his paralegals. And that was hard enough because he only got like 48 hours a month at the Leavenworth Penitentiary. So I am so glad that when I met, uh, got to meet Rachel two years ago and she approached me and said, I wanna do this for your dad. I was all excited because, you know, it's, I've been telling people it's good because the new generation needs to know all these movements that are are, uh, were out there that helped them succeed in life. It's so we need to re talk about all these political people, the political prisoners. It's just not my dad, but every culture too. <clears throat> so I wanted to say thank you for coming for those, and I um, wanted to say thank you to Rachel for approaching me. Thank you.